Hi, and welcome back to HVAC Talk, Let's Be Real. My name's Renee, I'm one of the owners of LCS. I'm Gretchen, I work here in the office. So this week on HVAC Talk, we're gonna talk about solar-powered attic fans. Specifically, in the last couple of weeks, we've had a couple of people say, hey, do those really work? So what better way to tell you about it than to tell you our own personal stories with solar-powered attic fans? Now, as a side note, I will say, we don't sell anything that we don't believe in. But sure. you just have to take our word for that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so with solar-powered attic fans, we have both had them installed in our own homes, and we're just gonna tell you our story with them. So Gretchen, I'll have you go first. Yeah, I moved into a home about a year ago and noticed, well, Travis told me not to buy the home because it <laughs> could not be zoned. Um, so my vents are in the floors, which means my ductwork runs through my walls. And so unless I wanna tear down walls, I can't zone my house which means i have a huge temperature difference between the first floor and the second floor because my furnace is in the basement so there's about was about a 10 almost 10 degree temperature difference between downstairs and upstairs oh my gosh what was the temperature upstairs like when you would go to like go to go to bed at night yeah so during like the heat wave it got up to 83. oh and <laughs> i had my maintenance done everything was working it just was, it's the way my house is built and designed yep. was not great for HVAC. So, of course, I said to Travis, now I know I shouldn't have bought this house, right. <laughs> but do you have any suggestions? And that's when he brought up the solar attic fan. So we made it through the heat wave just barely and got that puppy installed mm -hmm. about two weeks ago. And it's been about a seven degree temperature difference in my upstairs. So wow, I'm going to bed and it's a comfortable like 72, 73 upstairs, which before even when it was mild out, it wouldn't get below 77 upstairs. Oh my gosh. So all in all, the difference that you're seeing in your upstairs is about what, six degrees or so? Six to seven degrees, yeah. Okay, that's huge. How it's much better huge. are you sleeping? <laughs> I'm actually sleeping. I'm okay, sleeping, yes. so it's great, yeah. That's awesome. Our story is very similar. We have a two-story home. It cannot be zoned either. You shouldn't um, have bought that house. I know, you shouldn't have bought that house. <laughs> Travis should have known better. Um, but we had, it was super hot upstairs. And so we, we would keep the downstairs a little bit colder than mm -hmm. we were comfortable with to try to cool the upstairs. But it just ma it made us worked. uncomfortable downstairs and upstairs because it was still hot upstairs. Yeah. So um, we also did a solar-powered attic fan. And oh my gosh, I will say this. At night sleeping, uh, this is super gross, but I would sweat. Oh, profusely. 100%. Yes. Sweat. Like, wake, I would wake up in the middle of the night every single night in a puddle of sweat. It was so gross. And that's, I was, I was like, I don't know if we need a new mattress. Is our mattress not the cooling type? I don't know what we need to do. And Travis was like, no, it's 80 degrees up here. That's why you're sweating. Yes. And so I'm actually um, getting cold at night now. I, it's amazing, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yes, we can actually use our covers on yes. our blankets or on our own beds. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was the same thing. And so it was super hot outside, installed that. And literally the next day, mm -hmm. our, temper, our temperature was down. So it's about a six to seven degree difference that we're seeing in our upstairs as well. And so between our upstairs and downstairs now, we're usually within one to two degrees of each other yep. with that solar powered attic fan. So it's we wild. Can, oh my gosh. And it's super cost effective. I mean, yeah. it's so much more cost effective than say, um, getting a whole other system installed oh, in totally. your house and running yeah. all new duct work in your attic yeah. or, or even, even mini splits. splits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, a, it's way more cost effective. So. Yeah. And it does great. And because it's solar powered, after the initial investment of buying it and having it installed, there's no cost to you because it's running with solar power. Yeah. Um, there are powered attic fans as well that are actually wired up and use electricity to run so that they're running, you know, even if it's cloudy or whatever. But um, we have really found that it's really not necessary. Mm -hmm. So when they're installed up on the um, roof, they make sure that they are, you know, how it's supposed to be facing the sun and they can angle up so the sun is hitting them and it just, it makes a huge difference. Really, and really so, does. I yeah. really didn't think, I mean, I knew it was gonna make a difference. Travis wouldn't have suggested it if not, but I didn't realize it was going to make such a big difference to where I'm not even really considering or looking into doing anything else to try and help that. Like you were before. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to yeah. put a whole new other system in an attic in my, <laughs> or a furnace in my attic, which is 
you guys know who have them. Yeah. Horrible. Yes. Not the best design right there. So I was willing to do it. Right. So th that's our story. We absolutely love them. That is why we, um, we post pictures of them and we, sh we have testimonials about them and everything, but, um, who best, like, you know, we're the ones that are talking about them. We actually have them ourselves because they work, mm -hmm. they work. Yep. So, okay. Well, I hope that gives you some great information this week on solar powered added fans. Thanks for joining us. Any questions, give us a call. Until then, have a great rest of the week, and we will see you next week on HVAC Talk. Let's be real.